I am so happy to be making this video today, guys. We are going to be having a chit chat. <laughs> guys, I'm so happy to be here. <clears throat> no, that was too high. Guys, I am so happy to be here today. Guys, I am too happy to be here today to have a chat with you guys while I get my makeup done. I'm so happy. I think I've done this kind of thing like once the whole of this year. So relax, get a cup of tea. I have my cup here and my cup is from Mirac Cosmetics. You guys already know my baby Laifa. And I have a wine here that my, well, two bottles of wine, mini bottles of wine that my personal shopper added for me. They are so, so cute. And they each have 10.5%, which is a good amount for, the, for this size of a bottle. So I don't know the one to start with. So let's just start with this one. I'm going to be sipping my wine, doing my makeup, and just to we'll have a few updates for you guys that I'm so excited about. So let's pour the wine first. Yeah. So nice. It doesn't even taste like it has alcohol inside. I am people sure this one correct with this 10.5 percent. Eh. I swear it, it tastes so diluted. It doesn't taste like there's alcohol inside. Anyways, oh, I wasn't supposed to drink it like that. This thing has a cover. Hold on. I'm supposed to cover it. I'm going to be doing my makeup today, and I'm excited to try out those brushes from my babe. Oh. You guys already know how much I love life, right? If you know how much I love life, try and tell me. Explain the love I have for life for me in my, in my comments because the love I have for her is too much. And I got this prayer package over a month ago, but I've been so busy, you guys. My husband was in the hospital for a long time. Have I told you guys on this channel? I don't know. It's part of what we'll talk about today. My husband was in the hospital for a very long time. He was in the ICU. Not even normal words like or normal room or whatever. ICU. <laughs> It was bad. I've basically been living in the hospital for the past, uh, I, don't, I don't say month, not up to month, but like maybe three weeks in and out of the hospital. It's been crazy, but I got this PR package during that time. I finally have time to try it out now. From Mirac Cosmetics, so Mirac released brushes. Ugh. From the few that I have tried, they, well, not I have tried, that I have felt, they feel so soft. Oh, this particular one feels very soft, but also firm enough to be used for different things. And then, can you guys see? Obviously, I can't show you guys every single brush, but best believe they feel amazing. And another thing you should know is that if you're a makeup beginner, you need these brushes because they went through the stress and pleasure, I guess, of naming every brush. For example, this is called the Buffing Foundation Brush and it is written right here and this is a blush brush and they also sent me this uh, box that came with a bunch of goodies so it came with the mini size of their the minis of their baking spice which you guys i have not used any other baking powder since i started using mira cosmetics so these are the two i'm currently using this is the full size ones and then i get new sponges i'm not opening this one today because you guys can see, Merak, I have these two that I'm currently using. And then they sent me their pencils in different colors. Best black liner I've ever used. It is so creamy and so black and also smudge free. For the best part, so this is the Merak Face Cut and Glow Palette. And guys, oh, so gorgeous. Like front and back. And then these are the colors. You guys, this thing is so so gorgeous can you guys see these colors so i'm going to be bronzing with this contouring with this blush this two or eyeshadow highlight like everything you need to sculpt your face you find in this palette okay so i'm using my good old mac primer <laughs> for foundation today i'm mixing two of my favorite foundations um the nurse and the bond this way so this one like your girl got fresher so this became a tad bit darker this has always been lighter than i normally would like so now i mix both of them but i love their coverage like both of them are amazing foundation just in case the bond this way matte one is in butter pecan and macau for the nurse i don't use too much foundation again because your baby's fresh <laughs> 
I'm fresh. So guys, a lot has been happening. Where do I start from? I was telling you guys that my husband fell sick. Yeah, I, you know they say people that don't need to fall sick. When they fall sick, it's always like bad. Well, I've heard them say that. And it was really bad. He was in the ICU. I'm coming up. Can you guys see the amount of foundation I'm using? Very little, very cutesy, very demure. Because these foundations are really full coverage. And I'm not even going to layer it or anything. If not, to look too much. My sister just told me there's something black in between my teeth. I've been talking with something black in between my teeth. And she's standing in front of me here. She's right here. She's not ever since. You guys, anyways, I just removed it. But yeah, can you guys see how this brush... Is buffing everything in. Can you guys see? Wait, I need to come close. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see? Okay, I'm sure you can see Sha. So cute. Like I said, look at the quantity of foundation I'm using. Just the two pumps, and I don't even think it was two full pumps. Very little. Like, very little. Just spread it out first and then buff it in. Like something else I've been loving these days is that when I finish my foundation, some of my imperfections peek through because I don't um, color correct. So I just like it. I don't overlayer my foundations to cover everything. I don't know. I just love it looking a bit more natural. I've been using the same two pumps. To be honest, I should even call it one and a half pumps. I've been using the same and I still have more left and my whole face is basically covered at this point. Usually I don't even put foundation on my forehead. Usually. I don't. I'm trying to see if this thing is picking through too much. I think I'll remove it. Let me remove it. This brush is really, really good. It's getting the job done. And guys, when you apply your foundation, don't be in a hurry. Just take your time. I'm actually done. My whole face is covered, but I have small foundation left. Can you guys see it? And I'm not going to waste it. So I'm going to have to add it somewhere. Just spread it all over again because these foundations are expensive. I'm sure to buy these foundations now, probably be like 60, 70, 80,000. To be honest, I don't know how much. But yeah, so as I was saying, you guys, it's so hard to be doing makeup and be gisting. But as I was saying, I'm using like a mix of three concealers. To be honest, like, yeah, so I have um, Younger Beauty, which is my brightest concealer. I have this MAC one, which I love the shade very close to my skin tone. And then I have this Bond This Way, which should I say it's my perfect concealer shade because it's just like a shade or two above my skin tone. So I mix three of them. I'll just do one swipe, one swipe. You don't have to please. You can see what I mean. This is really close to my skin tone. If I blend it, it's just like my skin tone. This foundation is finished. You see this foundation? It's finished. To me, I know it's finished. I have a new one. As long as Nankaya Kotan with any me, I'm not trashing it. It is completely empty. Two seconds swipe. I can swipe. I like to extend this one a little bit. For this one, I use it here. Not too much. I just did mistake on my nose. My nose is gonna look crooked till I contour. So this is their concealer brush. If you really want your concealer to have more coverage, just use a brush to blend it. I usually don't use brushes because I don't have the patience. But if you want full coverage, use a brush. I'll use a brush and then I'll use the Merak blender to just dab, dab, dab. That way, you guys can see it. You don't lose too much pigment. But if you just go in with a blender straight, you're going to lose a lot of pigment. I'm not dragging it all the way out because I'll use a blender for that. Just want it to be centered around here. Then go in with the blender and buff the edges out especially. You guys can see just dab dab dab. Perfect. You can still see the highlights. Can you guys see? This brush is, is good. For my nose, I just go in with the blender. Okay. We look like we have a fat nose now, but don't worry. Hey, all work, no pleasure. I ain't here to make friends, big stepper. Hey, bad guy, heat ledger. Ready for whatever, I'll be front and center. Don't fly too close to the sun, your body chopped up by propellers. Came in, came in arrogant, but left out in a stretcher. Fuck the comparison, y'all know y'all couldn't replicate it. Chilling in the desert, I'm good under pressure. Stick around with me.
guys, I'm so sorry. I've been on a call. I'm just with my friend Ify, so <laughs> it just is sweet. But as I showed you guys, I tried to show you guys, I'm using this palette for my eyeshadow. So I just use this orange one as my transition color, Mirac, and it looks absolutely stunning. And to blend the eyeshadow, I use the eyeshadow blending three brush. So this one, eyeshadow blending three. Is it even straight? Is it supposed to go like this? I don't know. Sha eyeshadow blending three brush and it is so smooth can you guys see and it blends so sweet and then i'm going in with a light brown and um i'm going to be using the eyeshadow blending eight brush this is vii -I -I. that's eight yeah i've not i've not seen this in in years so i'm using the eyeshadow blended eight brush which is just a bit smaller than the blending three so i'm going in with the first brown color here i'm going in with this brown color this brown right here okay and i'm going to layer that on top of the orange and after that i'll still go in with the darker brown and layer that and use one of the shimmer colors in the beginning just in case i start gisting again so you guys will know exactly what i'm doing Guys, okay, I'm not on the phone call, even though I have a meeting with a brand in five minutes. But guys, can you see? I love, love how this makeup is coming out. And now, why am I about to contour? I've not even finished my eyeshadow. What is wrong with me? You know, I was literally about to contour. And now for the lead, I'm going to go in with the gold. That's the caramel. It's called caramel. Wait, let me show you guys. And that's what it looks like. And I'm not using any primer or anything, to be honest. Like. I don't really care for primers that much. I just go straight up. Ah, this color is so gorgeous. And this is without wetting my brush. So imagine if I now wet my brush. I love this eyeshadow. I don't want to add too much of the dark color because I don't want the eye to be too dark because I'll still use like the black pencil. Anyways, using the same eyeshadow, I know I've not buffed, but I'm going to go in with the bronzer, which is the first brown color. And I'm going to be going in with this angled blush slash contour brush, which looks like this. Hope you guys can see. It looks like this. I just tapped on the bronzer and then I'm going to bronze my face. So I'm going to apply it and come up a little bit and down and just buff it. You can see this color is not so dark. I'm still going to contour because I love my face being snatched. So, um, I think I'm done with Francis. Francis, oh, by the way, Francis is feeling a lot better right now. He's um doing well. Um, he just went to Abuja and came back. You know, thank God. We're very, very grateful for healing. Okay. And um, I forgot to tell you guys. No, I forgot to tell you guys. I said, I said it on my Instagram. But somehow, like, I've been slacking on YouTube and I'm so sorry, guys. Um, my kids changed school this term, this September, and Adana is repeating a class. She's repeating, I love this bronzer, the color. It's so nice. Adana is repeating a class. I'm going to bronze under here. She's repeating nursery three because she's just four years and we're like, uh, uh four years cannot be in grade one. I'm sorry. Four years cannot be in grade one. I was like, yes, anything you see, because I really like school and I trust their decision. And I obviously know that Adana is actually too young for primary school quite yet. So she's repeating and she's just flowing, doing fantastic. Um, Adana is a very smart babe on a normal day, so she's adjusting well. But the one you people are not gonna like is that I'm also making Kobe repeat. Kobe is supposed to be in grade five, right? Kobe is quarter to secondary school, but I'm like, eh. first of all, I don't even think he's that ready for high school. And secondly, he's just eight. He will soon be nine anyways. And nine years is supposed to be in grade four. Eight to nine is grade four. And Kobe was supposed to be in grade five. And I'm like, he's usually the youngest in the class, even though he's really smart. You guys already know. Kobe's smart. But he's usually the youngest in the class. So I'm like, you know what? There's no rush. There is literally no rush. He should just repeat grade four so that not after secondary school, he's going to start doing A levels and all that. He can just enter uni straight up after secondary school. So Kobe is repeating grade four. And I love that he's repeating grade four. He's fantastic with maths quantitative and a lot of subjects but when it comes to comprehension essay writing all those ones he's not that good so he there's still skills that he needs to pick up so naz i'll have to call you back this is my naz girl i'm filming and i'm also expecting a call in two minutes from a brand just name like 15 minutes i'll call you back all right all right all right
that's my babe Nazo. Me and Nazo talk like every single day. Sometimes we don't talk for like one or two or three days, but that's very rare. We talk every day. I feel like every day on my way to school or back from school, I have to call her to know how she's doing or she'll call me. I can tell she's a car. I'm always had just partner for car. Anyways, um, as I was saying, so Kobe's repeating and he's doing fantastic now and he has things to pick up like comprehension and essay writing, all those kind of things, which I'm happy for him to just be really good at before moving on to high school. If I want, he can now do grade five and enter high school from grade five. But if I'm still not satisfied, he's gonna do grade six. There's no rush, there's no rush in life. Where the other people reach, you'll still reach it later. You'll probably be, be even better and more prepared. So there's no rush for me. Guys, my makeup looks so good. This bronzer is, is, is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Anyways, I'm done with the bronzer. So now um, I'm going in to contour and I'm going to be using the, oh, well, uh, uh, see, this is the blush brush, but I'm going to use it to contour. Only because I don't have strength to look for another brush. But just slight, this with the darker brown, I'm not putting too much and I'm just going to buff it up. I'm not putting too much. Uh -huh. So, the next gist, you guys, my sister is here, Chini. My name is Chini, Chingarum. Hmm. Let me tell people what happened. First of all, first of all, I'm tabling her matter here. She's not going to enjoy this because she's standing here watching me talk about her butt. She's not going to enjoy it, but let me just tell you guys. This babe works like five days a month, too. Five days that she work, highest working days a month is like 10 days. I've never worked 10 days in a month. I don't believe it. Please, let's count how many days you come next month. For every day you come, just send one to my Insta, to my WhatsApp. So, as I was saying, she works like five to 10 days a month at most. But then, this girl told me that, see, the salary I'm paying her is not enough anymore. That transport is expensive. Nigeria is expensive. Blah, blah, blah. If I can increase her salary. And I told her, Auntie Chini, what work do you to do now that you want increase of salary? She'll be this one that I don't even need to come to work all the time. You guys know I'm very, like, chill. Any day I'm working, and by working, I mean I'm filming, she comes to work. Which I don't film every single day. I know the days I film. But then, for the most part, if I'm not filming that day, some days I don't work at all. She doesn't come. Some days she comes to help me like edit my save vlogs or sit down videos she doesn't edit instagram for me at all which is truly where majority of my work is now because my instagram is popping we thank jesus for that that's where i'm doing all my work most of my work right now that's where my money is coming from right now youtube is all right but like instagram is it's sweet okay anyways <laughs> Um, she doesn't edit Instagram for me. I edit all my Instagram myself. But this babe still asked me for increase of salary. I said, okay, no problem. I'll increase it. I don't enjoy it. She said, I increase her salary. This whole September, she has worked. This is your sixth day, she'll be. Sixth day. And she'll collect it though. I've been, I've been telling her here since. So you're going to collect this salary. Now, if I give you this salary this month now, you open your hands and collect the new salary. I say, oh, should I boss people's brain? There was a week that she worked Monday to Friday for the first time in the over one year that we've been working together, she worked Monday to Friday. Do you guys know that this girl told me, ah, transport is so expensive now, November. I paid her transport for that week. I gave her transport money that she used to come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm looking for the assistant. You are fired. <laughs> At least somebody else will not stress me. She really stresses me. She, you actually stress me. I'm, I'm in the market for a new assistant, please. You should go back so they see your face. Stand here so that they see your face and know that you're fired. So that when they see you outside, they will finish you. <laughs> she used to stress me. But let me just tell you guys, Sha. She used to try with the work. So let me that one to be managing. She used to try with the work. This blush. I'm using the orange as blush. Because I just love every shade in this palette. So I'm going to use orange and pink. So that's why I'm putting orange towards the end. Oh, gosh. And the way it applies, these brushes are everything. Is it the lamp? Yeah. Oh. So they are calling me now for my meeting. So I'll be right back. But I'll still be doing my makeup. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, I'm so sorry. I should have been. I should have called you a little bit because voice has been, you know, uh, going back and forth. Yeah, that's fine. So um, I wanted to ask if you've been able to go through the content guideline. <laughs> Anyways, that was actually a quick call. Guys, I'm loving my blush. So I have pink and it blends into orange. Can you guys see that? I've not like married it together. So just relax, relax, relax. I don't know what you're thinking. So there's pink and blends into orange. <laughs> see, Mara Cosmetics, you guys take all my money, okay? But let's not forget we're attacking my assistant. Yeah, anyways, I'm so managing her for now. She knows how to speak big English. 
you know, so she helps me a lot with my script writing, even though she used to just sometimes do any app, but, you know, she helps me a lot with that and my replies to my emails and stuff like that. So let's use that one to be managing her for now. Hmm. And my birthday just passed and I had such an amazing birthday. Let me tell you guys something. On that my birthday, I was like, I claimed everything that happened that day. I signed three contracts on my birthday. Three, three different brands. I know I'm screaming in your ears, but just, I'm excited. On my birthday, I'm like, you know what? As I'm turning this new age with all these new jobs and good family, good friends, you know, putting my foundation, you guys should have seen all that by now. May it continue to be so or better in my life because ah, I was like, ah, didn't know that I'm doing birthday today. Why are all these people coming to me right now? But it was really, really nice. Um, and uh, my birthday went so well. I, 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 I didn't vlog when I went to the hospitals, right? But I did visit UPTH. We visited the children's ward and um, women's ward, but mostly the children's ward that day. And see, you guys don't know what God has done for you. <laughs> if you are alive, well and healthy, you truly don't know what God has done for you. These kids and their parents, they are... Ugh, Let's not even talk about it. There's no need. It's not even something I like remembering or talking about. One of the kids that we visited, her name is Lizzie. Her mom actually lost her yesterday. She called me crying, weeping. And that yesterday morning, I actually got my assistant to call them in the morning to just check on them because I wanted to like send some money to some of them. My sister Choma, who's in America, was kind enough to send money to just use and help sick people. So I'm like, you know what? Let me also remember them, even though I had already given them things before. Because a lot of them, they keep needing money. Some of them can't even feed. They don't have money to buy food, not to talk of money to buy the medicines that they were prescribed. You know, it's not like all those big hospitals that will give you food and all that. No, 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 you do everything by yourself. So I called to check in on her. She, my staff called to check in on her and she started okay in the morning. Only for me, I called the nurse in the afternoon in the kids' ward. We talked and I told her to send her come because there are some other people that long story and then like maybe one hour after i talked to the nurse the nurse just messaged me that they just lost lizzie and then lizzie's mom now called me she was crying and obviously they still owe hospital bills that needed to be paid mortuary bill it's apparently like twenty thousand per day to they bury the child because they were owing money in the hospital cm <laughs> if you can eat every day and you are healthy you don't know what god has done for you that's just all i have to say man lizzie's so rest in peace but yeah i'm so happy i have this foundation now it's been a long time coming and i'm just so grateful for the people god actually put around me because they all make it possible obviously i can try my best if i can help five people by myself with the help of the people around me i can help 100 people and the foundation is not open yet for public funds so i cannot take your money unfortunately right now um i mean i can but i don't want to quite yet it's, it's just tricky because the website is still under construction i still have to hire one or two staff for the foundation i just want to do everything right i want to be very accountable for everything when is my family and friends giving me money to help people that's fine but I'm not asking for public donations right now. I'm doing everything with my money or the money that my family and friends give me. Yeah, one day, hopefully, by sometime next year, we should be able to start taking public funds and stuff like that. And I'm also still learning in the process. And having a foundation in Nigeria is a lot. It's very stressful because you realize really, really soon that a lot of these organizations or bodies that are supposed to be there to actually help people are there for their own pockets because tell me why we went to upth trying to help sick people and then the director was that the director who was that guy the one that, the was... One that was telling us to bring it to his office next time what was he i can't remember his post but apparently he's the one that if you want to like visit the hospital you go to his office first luckily he was not even around that day so i went uh, my sister went there and like before that day and she inquired and they were like yeah we can come right only for us to go luckily he was not around so they took us to the ward they said no pictures no videos which to me also doesn't make sense because for example there are kids there that actually need help right they need surgeries they need money or some of them have this um what they call it has a name i can't remember like they they can't poop they are using the bag and they just and these things some of these things are repairable right there, there was a child with a hole in his heart the way he was breathing people with there was another baby with leukemia different kids obviously like i said i can try my best but for the most part if i'm able to share these stories right other people can also help these kids because i can't just come out here and say well i have a child i want to help people should please give me money no other people can help but they send no pictures no blah 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 and then i figured out why they're saying that because of the state of the hospital the hospital is a is a is a big mess let's not lie it's a big mess and the people in charge probably don't want it out there because I'm sure there's somebody collecting money 
but not doing what they're supposed to do. But that's really, politics is not my issue. But when they now saw that we were giving people out, giving things out and giving money out or whatever, then I came, okay, people can take picture, people can take video, blah, blah, blah. We said, okay, no problem. My aim actually was not even, when they said no picture, no video, it did not stress me. Obviously, because I have a foundation, I wanted to document it for the website, but I was still fine with or without it. I can document other things I do. Obviously, it's not possible that it's every single thing I do that I'll document. But I just know that even for me, I like to see these things, like if I'm helping people. Then the letter said we can take pictures, blah 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 but um the guy now came at the end and then said eh, next time we come to the hospital they made us go he made us enter his office or so go to his office to yap this shit the next time we come to the hospital we should come to his office first and then we should bring everything that we want to share oh not just bring everything that we want to share that we should not share things next time we should just turn everything into money. We should just monetize the items. Because I shared things like simple home essentials, like there, well, there was detergents, there was jig, pad, diapers, tissues, um, soaps, baby oils, liquid soap. Um, what else was there? Even normal tomato oil. Just basic things. I just added it all. Then I added money. I added um, 20, 20,000 naira per bag that I was giving up. So they said next time. And mind you, he did not know that we added money into the bag. Because when he said, what did we share? We just told him basic things like tissue, pad, and we just mentioned tissue pad detergent. And I said, oh, next time we should not bring those things for them. That we should just monetize everything and come to his office. And that he will help us give it to make sure that the money gets to those that, that need it the most. For example, the way people are here now, maybe you give it to those that don't need it. I was so pissed off. I wanted to just react. My friend just tapped me. I was just like, okay, you know what? Calm down. You cannot be reacting anyhow like that now. You are representing a foundation. So I was just like, <laughs> for me gosh i was so mad because i i could smell his greed why are you trying to extort sick people and obviously these people that we gave this and this and things are very useful to them because even if i give them only 20k they will still follow for that money and buy these things so why are you there blocking people's blessing the thing was just crazy and some hospitals will even tell you you cannot even give it straight to the families you should give it to the hospital and we already know nigeria that some people sitting in offices will take those things home and to not get to those that need it. And another thing I find to be a very big scam in Nigeria, orphanages, gosh. Because tell me why like 20 people can visit an orphanage in a year. I'm just saying 20. A lot of them are probably more, right? Each of these people might donate just 50,000. It's just. Tell me why you cannot even change mattress that these children are lying on. Tell me why some of these children are still lying on a mat on the floor. Tell me why their toilets are a mess. Some of them don't have ceiling. Water is dripping. They are, they, everywhere has a smell. Like, uh, I feel like uh, a lot of people are out for their stomachs. And another thing I realized that they love the place looking that way. Because if they repair those things, they feel like, oh, people will not donate money to them anymore. And it, essentially, they are doing it for their own pocket. I'm just saying, no, I don't have proof. Oh, please don't quote me. But I'm just saying, because how is that even possible? What that is looking, these children are living and staying in horrible conditions that no human being should stay in. But then you're getting funds from different people, different times of the year. And even if you claim you are a good person, you have a good heart, you want to help these kids and you're not getting funds, there are basic things you can do to make life better for them. I legitimately went to an orphanage last December I made a video about it. I don't think, was it a YouTube video? I can't remember. But I'm certain I made an IG video about it. I went to an orphanage that they pasted on the wall. How they need, people should listen to, that um, some things that they need for the orphanage were seeing PS5, new washing machine, new TV. Orphanage that the kids are sleeping on the floor. Orphanage that the beds. You went with us now. That one went with us. That one now. You don't see where they posted it. Yeah. Orphanage that the kids are sleeping on the floor. If you see the bed, these children are sleeping. If you see their bunk beds, if you see the toilet, if you see the the condition of that orphanage, but you're writing, you need washing machine, you need TV, they need a new couch, they need a PS5. Now that one boss my brain. <laughs> see, yeah. anyways, um, I can like my sisters tell me, it's very, it's always very demoralizing when I visit all these places. But they keep telling me you cannot help everybody. Just cool down. Do what you can and leave the rest to God. So that is just what I'm working with right now. I do what I can and just almost like close my eyes to something because I don't want to get annoyed. You guys should look at how black this liner is. So now I'm going to go in with the orange and brown combo and smudge under. Just a little bit.
can see the difference. So I've not smudged the top of this one, but I've smudged the top of this one. And I kind of just went with a little bit. I love it. The one thing I can't wait for is for Mera Cosmetics to bring out lip liners. I will buy everything. Anyways, I'm um, lining my lips, but this is with Beauty by Didi. I love their liners. And I also use their brow pencil, by the way. <laughs> like this but I love gloss too much so I'm going to gloss my lips everything looks better with a gloss you guys can clearly see and just like that I am done let me just put on wig just to finish the look for you guys so I'll be right back and guys this is the finished look oh, can you guys see my face and apart from my base like I didn't do cream contour cream blush all those things I used the Merak palette everything Merak cosmetics okay and I'm so 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 happy with the way this look came out I still have content to create today if you guys can see those boxes at the back those boxes you're looking at like I'm actually creating content with them and these boxes I'll be giving it away you want to go and follow me on my Instagram it's like it has a lot of goodies inside and the brand sends me five to give away so you need to go follow me on my instagram and i'm going out to create a content and i feel so cute okay we just need a quick change of outfit and change of vibe get more serious and just do the work that we need to do okay but yeah this is how the look came out and i just i need to take pictures chini if you don't get fine pictures of me today you are fired i fired chini like three times throughout the duration of filming this video if you don't get fine pictures you're fired and i do not even drink my second second wine so i'll use that Congratulate myself after all the content I have to film today. I really want it cold. That's why I didn't drink it. It's not that cold now. I want it cold. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And go shop Merak Cosmetics right now. The website will be linked. The Instagram, everything. You guys already know. Okay? You need to go shop for my babe right now. See, let me type you something. If you shop Merak, tag me. Post it on Instagram. Tag Merak and tag me. And from the people that shop Merak, I'm going to do giveaway. I'm, I'm not even joking. That is how much I want you guys to patronize Lifer's brand. She's such a hard worker and such a kind soul and just so freaking sweet. So please, please, please go and patronize her business because you guys can see. Gorgeous, okay? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. I hope I've caught you guys up with everything happening in my life right now. Um, yeah. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Mwah.